Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. And welcome. I am fresh out the shower. <laughs> Look at the state of my hair. <laughs> what is going on? I've had a shave as well. Look at me. I'm a, I'm a fresh faced baby boy. Surprise any of you recognize me. Look at me. I've dropped about 20 pounds in my face. And I think personally, it looks a lot, lot better. On time as well. I know, well, maybe a, maybe a minute late, but you know, I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling fresh. I've just fresh out the shower, uh, clean shave from yesterday. So it's grown in a little bit, but I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think it's, it's a good look at the moment. Also, the hair is looking a little rugged as well. So there we go. It's all coming up Millhouse. Uh, speaking of things, coming up today, we are back for Chelsea Career Mode Season 2 under Maurizio Pochettino. We're top of the league as it stands um, after three games. Uh, Dante, thank you very much, mate. Good to see you back. Uh, nine points at the top. We are level with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, Manchester City Spurs, two points behind us. And uh, Everton, Nottingham Forest. It's the, it's the very, very start of this season, hence why we're seeing some of the names that we are up at the top. Uh, Liverpool in 10th, Arsenal 9th, Man United 8th. Uh, for today, we are back to the two-hour streams, which I'm sure a lot of you will be happy about, but also a lot of you just don't really. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, but for those of you that were excited for the two-hour stream to be back, they are back. They are back indeed, apart from tomorrow. <laughs> so don't get your hopes up too much, but we are back uh, tomorrow for an hour and a half. Uh, I'm just not going to stream anywhere near the, you know, the build up for the England game, friendly or not. Um, and, uh, you know, other than that, Wednesday and Thursday will be two hours. Uh, we've got a lot, a lot of stuff to do in this career mode, and we are <laughs> short-lived. No, I mean, I'm a man of uh, a new routine, so I'm looking to get as much done in as short as time possible. Um, now, starting. I've moved in. I'm settled. I've got no more excuses anymore. I have to get back to the routine, start making actual videos instead of just previews, reviews, all that good stuff. Um, everyone else seems to be putting, putting videos out left, right and centre these days. Uh, so um, I've got to start getting back on my grind. Uh, Chelsea are back this weekend as well. So uh, yeah, Chelsea content will be coming on uh, Friday uh, afternoon. We are in deadline day today. As you can see, Nunes has gone or no, sorry, latest rumours. Um, he will be uh, linked with a move to Villarreal strangely enough uh, in terms of our squads as you can see Baddy Shield out after what was I mean he was last man but it didn't seem like it was necessarily warranted we're going to put uh, Axel De Sassi in the back there and uh, move him out for Malo Gusto Palmer on the bench we're still hoping for him to go out on loan at some point likewise with I think Romeo Lavia uh, Mudrick's also on the loan list and I think I think that's it for any of the like the regular starters in today's day um, again in terms of our starting 11 I think we're more or less okay I think we're all more or less oh, 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 you know good to go um, so I think we're okay to move forward we'll check if there's any transfers I don't think there are what if you get injuries? Well, this is the problem. Mudrick was out for the majority of last season. So there is always the risk. I think we've sold someone. Oh God, there he goes. Mudrick out on loan. I can't remember where it was. I think it was West Ham or Fulham. Maybe Crystal Palace. I think it might have been the Mighty Eagles. Today, sporting a, a lovely Coca-Cola lemon. Has anyone seen this before? Came out recently. It is to Crystal Palace. Coca-Cola Lemon Zero. And it is absolutely fantastic. Try it if you haven't done so already. It 
It is crisp. It is delicious. <clears throat> Mudrick's loan rejected to West Ham. There we go. Palmer has a loan offer with Ajax and Slanina as well. Uh, work was good today. Work was good. Got plenty done. Also did an hour of overtime, so I made a few few extra bucks, so to speak. Uh, but Mudrick has gone to uh, Crystal Palace on a two-year loan, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Palmer, again, he's going to have to go. Normally, I wouldn't put him out on loan, but, I mean, he's 69 rated. So it's uh, he's just got to go, I think. Um, it is... Should we check? Just that one. Negotiate. I don't want to accidentally do with a loan, loan with a buy option. <laughs> like the music it's a, it's a catchy one it's the only one that doesn't get copyright claimed as well these days um what positions need signing i don't think any of them do to be honest with you this is incredibly loud so i'm gonna have to turn that down for my own sake uh it is a loan with an option to buy i'm gonna propose a loan and they just want a year. They just want a year. It is to Ajax, so he's going to get some good, some good game time, hopefully. And we'll do the we'll do the sixty forty. But I just I can't I can't justify doing a loan with a buy option. Uh, Slanina, on the other hand, has come in with an offer. Let's try and get five mil for him. Let's try and get the five mil for him. Savannah, how's it going? Good to see you. It's, um, again, the start of a much more regular occurrence. We're doing the career mode from now on. Um, other games when they come out, I suppose. We'll try and get into some of those. I do want to start streaming on Twitch at some point and on a few other platforms at the same time, which I've already discussed, but it's proven to be a bit harder than I thought. Not connection-wise, but not letting me <laughs> um this is more my we've got just over a year until uh gta 6 comes out and by the time that comes out i want i want the streams to be as regular an occurrence as possible two three hour streams um and just 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 do as much streaming as possible um by the time that comes out because best believe I mean, viewers or not, once that game comes out, you best believe I am going to be playing that regardless. So uh, join me when that does come out. Hopefully we have some moments like we do with... Uh, what's his name? <laughs> what's the guy's name? On, Grand on Vice City, the one that always pisses me off. Leon. Is it Leon? Slanina gets us an A. You'll be there no matter what. GTA 6 can't live up to the expectations. Well, I mean, if you remember, I don't know how old you are to, to you know, what your um, expectations were with GTA 5 or if you weren't old enough to have been anticipating GTA 5, but it was high, high expectations. Um, oh, no. Okay, cool. Um... And it, I mean, it definitely did live up to the expectations. Probably it succeeded, exceeded. Uh, Lance, that's the one. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's career modes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, it's uh, obviously the, the regular gaming streams. For this Friday, I'm not going to, as it's the, uh, it's the bank holiday weekend. Same as Monday, I won't be doing any on, any on Monday, but other than that, you know, bank holiday weekends, it's it's a time to be with your family. It's a time to be with your loved ones. Um, not always. It's usually not the case. It's just a day off. But in this case, two million. On this case, I'm going to have to spend it with the, with the missus. Gratefully so. Uh, I'm not complaining. Are we not your loved ones? <laughs> of course you are. I've got three drinks on the go, by the way. I've got my, uh, 
I've got my twi is it twinings? I think I can't remember who does it, but it's uh What is that? Loads of skipped frames for some reason. Is it a bit laggy today? Is the connection good? Is the is the quality of the stream good? Is it cutting out at times? Is it a bit choppy? It's all good. I'm getting some notifications from StreamYard saying that I'm skipping frames. Chillwell transfer offer. Oh! Do we have time to go for another left back? Because this could prove to be a very lucrative offer. This was not part of the plan. This was not part of the plan at all, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Chilwell receiving a late, late offer. We could sell. Only 50 mil for Chilwell. It's got to be at least 40, 45. Uh, count, yeah, counter with 45. I'm not, res I'm not let taking anything under 45 because we might, we also don't have enough time really to, uh, to get anyone else necessarily or, or no one else better because he is good on the game. Um, I'm going 50. I'm going 50. Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! I've got to start looking at... Oh shit, there's only two hours left! <laughs> Fuck! I thought there was like five hours! I know it's accepted. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I, 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 I was, I'm complaining because it, it got accepted. And we, do we go Grimaldo? We have to get someone in. But the thing is, you know, it's going to get, it's going to break down. The, the offer, it, the, the whole thing's going to break down. It's going to break down and we're going to be left with two starting players. What do we get? 50 mil. Nori. Oh shit, we were meant to get a thief as well. Should we get a thief on like a really cheap, cheap deal? See if it breaks down. I haven't got time. There's only two hours. Nori. We could get for probably quite cheap. 18 mil. Who do we go with? Because let's be honest. Well, Nori's 23. Who's got the higher ceiling? I don't know this is a bit cheaty, but. Pull it. Um, Nori. How do you even spell his stupid name? Nori. There we go. He's got a potential of 80. Why are we going for him? Grimaldo has a potential of 86. It's got to be Grimaldo. It can't be fucking Ait Nori. He's ass. <laughs> Let's go with Grimaldo. We'll approach to buy. We'll go in at what? Thir Someone said 25. 25.
They just want a straight swap with Jackson. I mean, no. Why don't we do a straight swap with Chilwell and see what happens there? <laughs> Thirty six. See, this is going up and up and up now. Cool. Well, we've got him now if we want. I've got a feeling it's going to break down between chill. Oh, we've only got an hour. Oh. Okay, we've got Grimaldo wants to see. The window goes by hours. If chill accepts, you still have one hour. Well, I know how it works. But we've, we've run out. <laughs> we've run out of hours. We've only got an hour left. I'll advance. If not, we've got Gusto who can fill in. Talks are broken down. There we go. Oh, thank God for that. Windows closed. Petrovic transfer offer. Absolutely fucking no chance. He's been our player of the season so far. Get the deal, deal sheet in, yeah. Don't know why I'm giving him a pat on the back. He didn't do anything. Williams. We've got another one for, for Chilwell here now. No. <laughs> Williams. Nah, can't be asked. Right, and there we go. We're into the season now. We're into the season. The match has been rescheduled between... Who's that? Chelsea and... I knew it would be Arsenal. I, for some reason, I absolutely knew that, we, that, that it would be against Arsenal. Right, first game, it is 20 minutes in. We have done a pretty, uh, you know, pretty good job of um, the deadline day there. N a bit of a slight, you know, a, a near, a near um, bit, of, bit of issues there, but what's going on? Are these lot of unavailable? What's with their... He suddenly doesn't like playing there. What's going on there? We're playing Arsenal on is it the 13th of april tell you what if i've remembered that that is class Twenty third of april i knew that there was a three in there somewhere um yeah, Fernandez suddenly doesn't like playing there, and he likes to be right wing, so we'll put him right wing. There you go, you like that. And he likes that. What's going on there, then? <laughs> I didn't change the strips at all. We'll change back to uh, the home kit if you want. Chicken nuggets. How's it going? Um, not quite the right mid. I, I, I think we should have gone for maybe a right mid, but I mean, it gives Madueke free roam to strut his stuff.
and do the things. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time! Yay! It's Botch O'Clock. Trusted Madaweke. He scored that screamer against Leicester in real life, remember? Well, of course. Here's Nkunku. This should be, if we're going to challenge for the title, this should be a formality here, ladies and gentlemen. So Nkunku looks for the first of many goals as Ossiman gets it. It lands beautifully. First cross lands straight to the feet of our front man, and it's a goal. Three minutes in, couldn't have been easier than that. Jesus Christ. I think that's the easiest goal we've come across this career mode so far. Look at that. Caicedo nearly balls it up. We'll take it. I wasn't expecting it to be so easy, but I just want to check. We are on world class. Victor Ossiman with the goal. It's a lovely start. And uh, straight away after what I was saying about we start how we mean to continue. It's Chiesa. Chiesa! And it's landed to Enzo. He could be offside. He isn't. Ossiman's there. Caicedo. It's Enzo. We're looking for number two already. Another chance. Cleared away. Norwich really under pressure here in the early goings of the game. It's a great challenge. It's a really good challenge. And we could be in again. It's a cuckoo, surely for two. And it is just like that. A very, very quick one, two, Buckleby swoop. Chelsea linking together beautifully so far in these early days. Too easy. Norwich are getting relegated. 100%. I'll struggle the next game. 100%. Yeah, look how easy this is coming along. That said, I've started games easy like this before and it's all absolutely crumbled. Look, see? Suddenly. Suddenly. Suddenly, it's all coming together. And they'll get a lucky goal out of nowhere. Ginger twat. James. Dodgy pass there, De Sassi. Caicedo. Lovely build-up play so far. Really nice. Oh, it nearly would have been just a, a scrumptious goal. A truly scrumptious goal. We are the famous CSV. It's got to be offside. It's got to be offside. It's a great save. Rather dramatic, it's got to be said. Friendly fire? Who are you calling Ginger? Ah! James clears it away. And Aussie men could be in if he can get to that first, which he cannot. Has Sterling gone? He's gone. He's gone back to City. And within the same transfer window, City were trying to flog him back to us. That's just not where I passed it, is it? Why would I have not passed it to Enzo there? For fuck's sake. My missus is ginger. She is. Doesn't mean I can't say it. It's all starting to fizzle out here. It's very Pochettino. Get the one goal, maybe two. And it all goes tits up straight after that. A third would be nice. See what I mean? It's just all looking a little bit... A little bit flaky in these early goings now. Even though we are 2-0 up. Norwich getting a bit more of a feel of the game. And they could be in for here for... One back, it's a deflection. A disgusting one at that. Lovely play out from the back, though, to make up for it. Play it, Caicedo, for fuck's sake. Why is Ossiman always so offside? 
Chance! Dodgy save. Oh, and he goes down. <laughs> what was going on there? Azza, how's it going? Got those brownie points yesterday. I did, I did the hoovering. In case uh, you didn't hear it, I did do the hoovering. Boyfriend of the year here, it's Ossiman! Oh! <laughs> what a goal! Jesus Christ! <laughs> what a fucking goal! Look at that! Perfect cross! We nearly sold him! We nearly sold both of them! Oh my word! Delicious! Right on the brink of half time as well! Goodness, goodness me! Oh! That's outstanding. A truly outstanding goal. Favourite Chelsea goal ever, not including cup winners. Uh, not including, including cup winning goals. Ramirez's has to be up there. Um... I also think Oscars versus Juventus. Does anyone remember that one? Ossiman could be in for a hat-trick here, and that will be all she wrote. There we go. 4-0. It is. Pot the clock. Uh, the turn in the top bins, yeah. Uh, Hazard's against Tottenham. Hazard against Coquelin and, and Arsenal, like you say, yeah. Another really good goal. Drogba versus Everton. The turn and the and the half volley. Um, Good Johnson's back uh, bicycle kick back in the day. If you haven't seen that one, which you definitely should have, if you are a Chelsea fan, I urge you to look up. De Sassi gets stuck in there. What a tackle! Chelsea face penalties, including a points deduction or expulsion from the. Uh, Premier League, if they are found guilty of breaching... See, but, uh, yeah. It's a it's a very coulda, shoulda, woulda, or, or like a, you know, if it happens, if, if you know, it'd be the same for... It, it's, it's, it's all a if. I don't think it's a, a when, for us, anyway. Kieta! I overthought that one just a bit too much. Essien against Arsenal is obviously very much uh, goes without saying. And Cuckoo! Very much goes without saying. Easily one of, uh, one of the goals that really stands out. Uh, Lampard against Barcelona, the little chip. Lovely run by Madueke. Good for the old goal difference, a game like this. It's not something that we saw too much in the last season. Shit. Chilwell absolutely left for dead there. And a great chance for Norwich to get one back, and they do. 4-1. It's a really well-worked well goal there. Chilwell to blame, it's got to be said. Very Chilwell defending. It's, it is absolutely... Yeah. Um, I swear we hear that news once a year. It's not once a year. It's every single time it's the international break. So we don't have a single uh, thing against us, whereas City have the 115, yet they're trying to put us in the same sort of bracket. It's so annoying. Trying to put us in the same kettle of fish. Maduake! Uh, 
What's the time? What is the time? Could be worth it, you know. Bring on Kukureya. I mean, any goal in the in the Champions League against Liverpool is always, for the most part, a good one. Alex, oh my words, bicycle kick there by Chiesa. Alex's free kick against Liverpool in the Champions League. Oh, and Chiesa picks it up after a mistake. Can't quite capitalise. You've got to think this game is over and done with, but you just can't be too sure. You just can't be too sure. We need one more just to put the... Uh, Cherry on the cake as Aussie Ben looks to get through. Matic's goal against Tottenham was absolutely unbelievable. Um, for me as well, Hazard's penalty against United in the FA Cup final because that was the first time I'd seen Chelsea win a trophy um, in person. It's the first cup final I'd gone to that we actually won. Um, and I'd been to Wembley so many times before for like Community Shields, FA Cup and all that sort of thing and never seen us win anything. So it was nice to actually see us win. And against Man United as well. It's a pretty good... Um... Aussie men. Uh, best goal live at, a st at the stadium. Uh, honestly... I think Danny Drinkwater against Stoke that I always bang on about, about where because you can see me in the goal. That goal was absolutely in, insane. Like, as goals go, wasn't really that big of a deal, but it was a fucking belter of a goal. Um, get the clip up. I might get banned. Copyright. Uh, I also was there for... It's 4-2. It's a consolation goal, but it's really not good to see. Um, I was also there for um, the Azpil Equator Maratta Man United uh, goal, where Azpi sort of like lofts it in and um, Maratta's sort of headed it away. Really good goal, that one as well. I would say as well, uh, Ericsson scored against us at the bridge that year as well. Um, and it was a fucking insane goal. It was a really good goal. So not a Chelsea goal, but it was it was it was a really good goal. <laughs> it was a really good goal. I'm in a little conversation there with uh, Ossie. Maybe we've got Palace up next. We've got some uh, scouting stuff finished as well. So uh, we will be able to see how... Oh, Aussie men, uh, not Aussie men. Elise has gone to Leon. Lost 4-1, I know. First time we'd lost to them in, at Stamford Bridge ever in the league. And I was there. I was there for, um, does anyone remember the goal that Chicharito scored? Javier Hernandez scored against, um, what? I was at the Chelsea Brentford game with Rudiger power drive. Oh, that one. Sorry. I thought you meant when we, lo we lost, we lost to Tottenham four one, I think it was or three one. Chicharito's goal against Chelsea in the community shield where he kicked the ball and hit himself in the face. I was there for that game all those years ago. Uh, that was my first time at Wembley. And, uh, wow. No, we were 1-0 up. I think Morata scored that day. Uh, right. We've got Palace up next. And again, I didn't change it, so. There we go. Um, I think we're good to go. That was Stamford Bridge. 
we fucked it a few times against uh, Tottenham, have we not? Scored three in the last game. Did he get a hat trick in the game, Ossiemen? Don't think he did. Uh, but here we go. Madueke to get things uh, going. If we could score a goal as quick as we did against Norwich, that'd be great. Defensively, not too good. Chelsea in that game. Very Chelsea performance. Um, back post. A very overhit cross there. First time ever in the shed lower. I enjoy it in the shed lower. Ugh, that's a great chance. <coughs> I think that's where I was for the, the drink water goal. Always a laugh. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. It's Madueke. It's a great chance. If Ossiemen can stay on sides, that would be great. It's Ossiemen! Oh! -ho! It's a brilliant finish. Fantastic goal. Four in his last two goal uh, games now. Victor Ossiemen opens his body up brilliantly and puts it in top bins. It's one nil to the Chelsea. We've got some. We've got some good fixtures up in this uh, in this episode leading up to tomorrow. Uh, that's a red card. That's a red fucking card. Send the dirty bastard off. Ah, uh, bollocks. Utter bollocks. That's a red every single day of the week. It's Enzo. Oh, had a little bit of a swaz on it, but it was really not anywhere near to testing the goalkeeper. Um, uh, yeah, I don't really get how that hasn't been given as a red card, quite honestly. Oh, it's lovely! It's lovely! <laughs> it doesn't matter! Showing off for the bridge. Noni Manoweke gets his goal. Chiesa with a beautiful slotted pass. What a signing he's proving to be. Manoweke. Not his first of the season, I don't think. And uh, it's, been, it's been a fruitful day so far. Again, we've got some really generous fixtures um, in this particular episode or particular stream that we, we, just, we just need to make the most of them. It might be boring in the sense of I'm just going to win. Hopefully that's the case. It's not always the case, is it? As you've seen. Sometimes we get absolutely battered by teams that we should definitely be winning against. Um, but so far, we started well. And hopefully we can continue. It's not a good pass. It's Madueke. It's Enzo. It's Victor Ossiman. Oh, my word. It was going all over the place. Oh, he's just had it flicked away from him. We're all over them like a rash. Caicedo putting the pressure on there. Played it back. James. Nice little turn there by Enzo. He nearly gets taken out. It's a great pass. 
Enzo goes for the shot himself. It's Nkunku looks to go all the way. Lovely displays here from some of these boys. Just not the final products every time. Uh oh. Get it. Petrovic doing well. Uh, as per my last comment, I swear we are the one of the only clubs that they give um, one of our main stands to the away fans. Yeah. It's really odd, isn't it? It's really strange. Madueke. He's going to go for it. He's got. Oh, oh, cheeky bastard. Should be offside there. I don't think it is. And it's nearly gone all the way through. Crystal Palace need a goal. They need a goal if they're going to stand a chance here. And they might have it. Fuck. Come out, Petrovic, you fucking goon. I was pressing the button. Fuck's sake. Oh, tits. I was calling him out. I don't understand why he didn't come out. I need a new controller, man. I need a new controller. Well, what seemed like a game that we were running rampant in, we haven't taken all of our chances and we are now just a goal in front rather than the two. Dispossessed. It's a really good chance here if they could make their run. It's a nice ball through. It's Caicedo. It's not who you necessarily want up top. Oh, my word. What a run! Oh. Chilwell. Enzo. Nice play. Not the best of passes. It's a lovely bit of play, though. And an easy save for Matthews. I'm not necessarily blaming the controller, but the Y button has caused us issues in the past. The goalkeeper just runs out randomly at times, doesn't he? Madueke. The run. Ossiemen's in. It's got to be. It's a formality at this point. Ossiemen, 3-1. It took longer than it needed to to clear things up, to regain that two-goal lead, but we've got there in the end. Easy goal. A really easy goal. And I think we can rest Reese James now. Malo Gusto gets some game time. Victor Ossiemen. Victor Ossiemen. Was it Ossiemen? It was. It was. Oh, together now. Oh, God. They're in. They're in. They're in. They're in. Fuck. Oh, that was not the controller's fault. That nearly was. But I mean pressing it. Go to CX. Played over the top. I don't think Chiesa is going to be able to get to that necessarily, but he has got to that one and that one as well. Here you go. Get yourself a new controller. Luke, mate, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it takes so long to get on the screen. But thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. I will put that straight to the controller fund. I really will. Um, let us... Let's rest in Kunku. Um, and let's rest Aussie men as well. I think that's good to go. 
Gallagher always bags against Crystal Palace, so why not bring him on? Jesus. Here you go. Go get yourself a new controller. There she is. <laughs> Smiley face. There she is. Can Ossiman get his hat trick before he is uh, substituted? It's a possibility. But it won't happen. I want my fiver back. She got here eventually. I don't know what takes her so long. Still seems to be no chance of her. What's the referee's got saying in his hand there? Look. Look at the referee. He's got a white card in his hand. He's still got something in his hand. Lovely charge, Jackson. Gone to replays. He's got a packet in his hand or something. Can't see the referee. Who's close? Why can't I? There we go. Yeah, look, he's got his pen out. Got his pen and his paper out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that in my however many years I've played FIFA. I don't think that's ever been a glitch that I've seen. It's so weird, isn't it? The better technology gets, the like the more buggy games get. There never used to be this many bugs in, in like, fi like the, the teens. Do you know what I mean? Like FIFA 13, 14, 15, all that sort of thing. There were obviously bugs at times. I just haven't seen so many, though, in my life. It's like injuries in the real, in the real world. Like, you know, there never used to be so many injuries, and now they're every fucking week. Oh, he's going to draw during the game. Oh. We are still in the Champions League. I had forgotten. <laughs> I had forgotten. Who have we got? Well, we've seen Inter Milan. Pa PSG, Benfica, Sevilla, Shakhtar Donetsk, Real Madrid, Roma, Monaco, Dinamo Kiev. Chelsea, Inter, Galatasaray, and Rangers. What a fucking group that is, eh? Bayern, Milan, Sociedad, and Young Boys. Barcelona, Juventus, Fenerbahce, and Ajax. Liverpool, Leverkusen, PSV, and Salzburg. Arsenal, Dortmund, Porto, and Club Bruges. That's a good one as well. That's a really good one. Atletico Madrid, Man United, Wolfsburg and Malmo. It's a good game. It's a, it's a good it's a good stretch of fixtures that. We've got United after this. Well, we had our fun. <laughs> we had our day out. Now fucking back to reality. Look at this. Inter United. Is that Cambridge United? That is Cambridge. Arsenal Champions League. Wolves leads Champions League. I think we can get... I think we can get to here by the end of the game. I could be completely out of my... my mind saying that. What are we saying? Like, four minutes a half, eight... 16. 24. 32. 40. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be, could be. We've got a good, good few games there. I'll probably, I'll probably sim Cambridge, yeah, like you say. Um, why not? But Inter Milan up next in the Champions League. Uh, they've got Morata, Lataro Martinez, Reina, Velasco, Luis Alberto, Agume, Barella, De Vrij, De Verge, <laughs> Bastoni, Pavard, and Sommer. That's a decent team. That is a decent team. Um, I've got to do this in the actual thing so that it doesn't... I don't have to keep doing that. But is there anyone here? It is Badia Shield. Uh, Humphreys as well. I think I think that's good. Can't beat him. Nah, Champions League nights at the bridge are arguably the best. Got to see Barcelona, so uh, you know, got to see Messi at the bridge. Saw him score his first ever goal against che uh, Chelsea in his entire career. So you know, I'm I'm always one for uh, breaking or being there for breaking records. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Uh, do they have a, another kit? Oh, mate, I'm the worst luck. I'm, I have the worst luck. I really do. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly. I feel like I'm a pretty lucky person. But when it comes to Chelsea, Jesus, it's anything but. Who's taking pens in the squad? Um, it's probably Aussie men, no. The champions! Oh my god, I thought the game's fucking bugged there. I couldn't use the controller. Madueke, under the lights at Stamford Bridge for the Champions League once again. How do you even use the advantage? I held down both triggers there and it didn't fucking let me do anything. So I guess no advantage. <laughs> And just standing around doesn't do anything either. It's a tough group. It's a tough group, but I do see us finishing top. Especially now Badia Shield's back. Why did they get rid of the walkout of the Champions League music? I know, they've, they've literally ruined the game, like... The highlight package that they do at the beginning of every game. Do that for some games. Don't do that for every single game. It's so boring. Like, they've taken all of the uh, the realism out of the beginnings now because they just don't have the walkout or anything. Madueke just steaming through. Go on, son! And it's a great cross. Ossiman! Oh, my God! That would have been special. Sommer, absolutely no worries, though, from him. He seems to not really give a fuck. Bioesk. What is this geezer doing? Fucking running around like a headless chicken. I mean, I get copyright claimed if I, if I play the music anyway, so it wouldn't even be able to be played. It's in Kunku. Easy save. We're by far the greatest chick the world has ever seen. Uh-oh. Headed away nicely as well. Counter-attack is definitely on here. 
Oh, it's not the best of passes. Although, Ossiman has managed to get the ball here. Get the shot off. Lucky there. That normally would have been a handball, though, I believe. It's lovely play. It's lovely play! Oh! Sommer didn't take the bait. Tried to dink him. He said, no, thanks. We're looking good, though. We're looking good. Defensively look a little bit shaky, but we've dealt with everything well so far. Until now. Shit, what a save! Morata nearly put in that top bins, but Petrovic said, nah, nah. Aussie men. Not the best. It's a great save from Petrovic. Super Chelsea. Ah, oh, they've torn us apart there, and it's a fantastic finish. Latara Martinez puts it in. We're one nil down at the bridge in the Champions League. What time is it? The sun's still out. Silence the crowd. They really need to work on the uh, foreign fans. They would be absolutely out singing us like you wouldn't believe right now. Like, it would be aggressive. It would be aggressive. And there's no whistling. Where's the whistling? Where's the shit house? Fuck! This feels too realistic, by the way. <laughs> this feels too realistic to. I like, this feels like a proper Chelsea Champions League night. So Nkunku, he's got to get one back quickly here, and he does. Oh, there we go. There we go. He says, fuck your celebrations, we're coming. Coming back. What a finish. Right on half time as well. Brilliant goal. It's, uh, it's world class, mate. I'm not going to pretend. I... Uh, I could probably push Legendary at this point, but maybe at the end of this season. I just find it's not even fun when you have to try so hard to slog out a fucking goal, let alone a victory. Um, oh, shit! I like to just... Like, I will lose games from time to time on, on World Class, but it's just so fucking boring. Every game being like... An absolute slog. This is going to be a long, long second half now. I can feel it. Unless we can get one back quick. Early on in this second half. It's Chiesa. Obviously, uh, used to the Italian style of play. Oh, that's not where I passed it, was it? Chilwell doing the overlapping run. I went for him. And we've been caught on the counter-attack here. We really have. It's a great save, though. Ultimate difficulty can suck on my ball bag. It really can. It's so... It's not even remotely fun. It's not even, even slightly fun. Counter-attack could be on, and it's just too much again. And it's proving to be 
a bit of a faff. Who can we bring on? Oh, it's straight into him. Uh, it's probably Jackson, right? Gallagher? I feel like Gallagher could, could be the boy, you know. Kukureya. Mudrik's on loan. I reckon we put Nkunku on the right. Nah. Chiesa's been playing well. We'll bring Jackson on a little later, I think. If Ossiman just can't start doing what he's supposed to be doing. Don't score before I get my fucking sub on. Jesus, off the bar. Two strikers, yeah. Could be. James. God, they're on me today. We're pushing for a draw here. Oh my God, they're just predicting everything I'm doing. Great tackle. What? Fucking General G, the referee here, or whatever his stupid fucking name is. There we go. That would have been a perfect little counter there. I'm not going to pretend like I was definitely going to score there, but you never know. Oh, pass, pass the ball, pass the ball, come on. Lovely play from Aussie Man, if you can get off Gallagher. Not good enough, not good enough. And Inter could be in here for another one. Not quite, although they've got another chance. Great save. We are... Really, it was a great tackle by Benoit, wasn't it? We haven't had a single corner in this game, by the way. Right, where are we? Aussie man, it's a bad pass! It's a really bad pass! Oh my god, they're all over me. Get out of my house. It's Chiesa. Gallagher, stay on side, you fucking idiots. Chiesa! It's got to be Jackson. Jackson to save the day. Who knows? What a chance. Gallagher! Oh! It's a great save. I can't believe it's still daytime there. <laughs> We're going to have to go for it again. Hit it! Oh! <laughs> oh. Sneaky bum time. <laughs> oh, we've absolutely bollocksed it, haven't we? Although... Oh, come on, give me one more chance. Yes. Gallagher. Gallagher! It's Chiesa! Drama on the bridge! Leon! Yes! <laughs> He's back! Oh, come on!
cabrón! These are the moments you live for. What a goal. Oh, it couldn't have been any later. It couldn't have been any later. Oh, honestly, we deserve that. We deserve that. We really did deserve that. Here he is. Just a couple of questions for you. Let's boost the morale a little bit here. Yeah, we did. Not one player lost his head. There we go. We will stick together. Angeline, it's okay. It's okay. Um, a frustrating day for us. At least we didn't let the draw slip away from us. We didn't defend like... Nah, it's a frustrating day. It's too much for even bit to be even no fit on the page. Thanks. Better late than never. We've still got 50 minutes to go. 5-0. And now, Angeline, you may have just caught the end of that game. But if you didn't, you've got another one here against Manchester United at Old Trafford. So, uh, all is not lost. We also have a game against Arsenal coming up as well in this stream. So, uh, plenty to look forward to. Oh, I feel like I need a bit of a breather after that. Um, I feel like we need to rest players, you know, a little bit. We, we are very lacking in our, um, our wingers. I've come to realise we should have made at least one more purchase for uh, for the wing what we could do is that start Gallagher for this game um, we'll go Baddy shield move them around and Jareen can't be doing that can he Jackson could ju do a job here I, th I feel like he deserves it doesn't he we'll rest we will rest I know it seems a bit counterintuitive but we will rest Aussie men for the start of this and bring him on should we need him. Uh, Fafana's absolutely battered. And I am going to start... I am going to start Gusto as well. Gusto's been all right, yeah. We've got some good good options on the bench, should we need them. Um, but we are we are a little bit lacking in terms of <clears throat> fitness. Fitness is, is a bit of an issue right here, especially as it seems to be quite an intense run of games. We've got Cambridge up next, so we will rest as many players as physically possible as we've got Arsenal after that, and then obviously back into the uh, Champions League. I think we've got Galatasaray next. So we will see, but it's a big game nonetheless. It's a big game nonetheless. And Kunku starting on the left today. Gallagher down the middle. It's just the way it's had to go. Strong tackles early on. Great interception. It didn't want me to run after the ball, though, afterwards, even though I'd won it. Gallagher could be in here. Gallagher could be in here! All the way, son! <laughs> oh! An absolute pee roller! There was not enough finesse on it. It's Enzo with the cross. It's a great chance! Marueke with the bicycle kick. 
Jesus! And he's gone for it again. He didn't, couldn't quite get to it. Where is Mudrick loan to? He's gone to Crystal Palace for uh, for a couple of years. So we are definitely going to have to get someone on the uh, in the winter window. It's a great corner! Oh, great cross though, and it's in! <laughs> By the narrowest of margins, Christopher oh, Nkunku oh, at the back post. He puts it in. It's Chelsea one, Manchester United nil at Old Trafford. It's a great cross. It's a great cross. It's a great save, and it's a great follow-up from Nkunku. What a goal! Tightest of margins. If it had come out, I think Gallagher probably would have been able to put it away. Who knows? But either way, it is a very realistic Onana save. It's got to be said. One step beyond. Chelsea in the lead here. Oh, he's so offside. It's criminal. They're playing a very high line. A very, very high line. How's he kept that in? Shut up. Oh, suck out. What is this? Sake. And Cuckoo could have found Gallagher here. What a ball that would be. Nearly. Gallagher's fouled there, surely. He's gone down injured. No! <laughs> Gallagher's injured. Gallagher's injured. Oh, no. That looks like it's a long one, isn't it? That looks like a long-term injury, that. That really, really does. Shit. Well, Aussie Ben's going to have to come on a lot, lot, a lot earlier than we were anticipating. Um, Angeline, welcome to middle tier. 11 months, 11 months. That is outrageous. We're, 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 we're quick approaching. We are quickly approaching a year. It seems like every stream, your... Um, <laughs> seems like every every stream, your, your uh, subscription is updated. There can't be a month between these every single time. Gusto... Gusto! Oh! But thank you very much. Proud to be here for 11 months, Harry. Thank you very much, Angeline. I really do appreciate it. It's, uh, it's been much, much longer than that, of course. But um, again, yeah, I do really, I really do appreciate it. He's offside. Uh, won't join till January. What was that? Can we look at free agents? Should have got a thief, by the way. I am almost certain. Fucking. Oh, I didn't said a word there. Um, a thief would have been a perfect buy, by the way. If you really think about it. He's a left mid. We're struggling for wingers at the moment. Ossiman's got to be onside here. He looks like he is. The angle's not great. But he's made it two. There we go. Against the run of play, the counter-attack, glorious. And Chelsea have tuned it up right near half-time. Tune it up Trafford, must be a dream. Only in video games, only in the games.
Chelsea. Ole, 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 ole. And you can't say there hasn't been drama anyway. There's been plenty of drama. And Ossiemen could be in for three here. And he is. Oh, I thought he missed it. <laughs> he has a Man United falling apart again. What is going on? Unbelievable. Ossiemen has been unbelievable since joining. And he's only going to make us a pretty penny when, he, when we uh, inevitably end up having to get rid of him when he wants to leave, because he will leave. He's only been, he has not even been here a full season yet. And uh, we've already been offered like 200 million for him. Try next game on Legendary, mate, as a one-off. See how you shake up. Against Cambridge. I'm not doing that against Arsenal. Risk losing to them. Madueke looking a little bit lacking in sharpness, but... It seems to be good. We Oh, shit. So I left Andrew in at, on, the, on the reserves. We should have brought him just in case this happened, which... We could not have foreseen this coming. Oh, it's lovely from Ossiemen. Jackson putting a bit of pressure on him there unnecessarily. Getting right up his beak. Oh, my word. It was nowhere near, but Jesus. Maybe for the Champions League game. Yeah, we could try it for the Champions League game. They're by far the greatest team. I feel like even though we are obviously winning a lot easier today, um, it obviously goes without saying that we've had many games where it has been a lot trickier on world class. Shit. And this certainly isn't over. You know how the computer likes to fuck me over. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck off. Has that gone in? First howler from Petrovic, yeah. Right after I say that the game likes to fuck me over. I just, oh. That's a great tackle, fucking hell. Stay on sides. Six men went to Mo. Oh, they've got past me again here. I told you, it's not done. That's a, nut, that's a good tackle, man. What are you talking about? I'm starting to think we need to sell Benoit, you know. Straight through him. Oh, he turned his body right at the fucking end. Oh, and it is. It studs up right into his... Uh... He 
It's not a red. We literally had the same thing happen to us. The same exact thing happened to us, and he, and he just got a yellow card. I can't believe it. Ref, that's the fucking same thing! Oh, of course! That's the same thing! Fucking hell! Oh, cock and balls. We got away with that one. Oh. We're getting fucked here. Good tackle. Oh, is that a penalty, referee? Is that a fucking penalty? You clown. Oh, shit. Balls. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Three nil up. Three nil. And you fucked it up. Three nil. Fucking hell, ref. Who do I pass to here? Can someone come over, please? Give me something. Oh my God, he just came out of nowhere. Just gonna have to sit on it, aren't I? Shut up. Oh my. It's a lovely bit of play. Fuck. They've baited me into making that move there so that I lose the ball. Oh. Go on, make a mistake, you fat fuck. What a save, Petrovic! Oh, we needed that. Come on, man. Allow me. Aussie men, here we go. Kukurea. Oh, my God! We won! Kukurea! <laughs> oh, fuck off!
I mean, we won. I mean, we won. That's the main thing. We never speak of that miss ever again. Honestly, I wanted Kukre. I could have gone it alone with fucking... With Ossiman. I thought I'd give... I thought I'd give Kukurea his, his chance, and he absolutely balls it. Why on earth? Oh, because we we drew at a, a home, maybe? I don't know why we're second. What would you have done if they scored on the break after? I probably would have ended the stream, if I'm completely honest with you. <laughs> I probably would have called it a day. Oh, everyone's absolutely knackered. Oh, hang on. We do have... Not quite, though, is it? And now Gusto is t more tired than fucking James. Uh, we'll play Andrew in, because why not? Oh, we should have got a FIFA. Oh, shit. We need to see how long Gallagher's out for. That is taking the piss. Seven months. Fucking hell. And now Madueke is even asking for... A, a bit of time on the bench. Oh, that's outrageous. Oh. We are really missing players here. I'm so, we're so low on players. <laughs> Shit. Recall players. Do you think it's, it's is it that bad? Has it? Do you think it's that the season's gone tits up a little bit, isn't it? Everyone's going to start getting injured. I think that's acceptable. Magic here. Yeah. Let's play this for now. Or uh, rather, how do I? Sim match. Oh, shit. I didn't want. We'll sim the match. We can't be losing to Cambridge United here. My God. No, I want to be able to intervene. I don't want to get knocked out of this so early on. I know it's only the Carabao Cup, but... You just know they're going to get something. Look, they nearly scored there. I want to be able to intervene. Because the game will fuck me here. I'll wait until we're like 3-0 up. Jackson, saved. Cornerball. Crossed in, Chiesa. Don't really want to be having to play him against Cambridge, for fuck's sake. But here we go. Look, they're going to score. They're going to score. They are going to score. Typical Chelsea players, small teams at home. There's a goal for Nkunku. Mm. 
And don't forget, we've got Arsenal next as well. We've got Arsenal. I need to look at the look at the fitness levels for fuck. So we've got Arsenal in three days. Play it, Jackson. Great ball, ja James for two, no. Needs to manage the training better. Switching it up now and every now and again, yeah. Two nil, and Kunku again. He's saving the day here. I will take him off now and put. Oh, fuck. Who can we put on there? Just put Enzo on. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So good save. Can we go in the stands at all? Here we go. <laughs> Bit of Matthew Hard Napper. Look at that. Well, I mean, it's more. What is that? East Stand. Oh my God, we've got Arsenal on my birthday. I didn't even realise. Vivere, hello. Western. Hello, Darth. What's for dinner? We've got a uh, honey lemon chicken, I think. Great chance, it's three. And that is all she wrote. Is the score ever going to change? We'll uh, sim to the end now. 4-1, I knew they'd score. Is that the corner of the shed? Of course it's the corner of the shed, for fuck's sake. Oh my God. Okay, well, fitness levels aren't too bad. Uh, Daniel Luchinsky, or Luchinsky, has said in training, so we'll go to training, training plan. In training, put the starting 11 on balanced and all the other players on four out of five in the performance focused. Balanced. 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 <clears throat> and then you want... No, no, we've got Arsenal on my birthday in the game. <clears throat> Gallagher's fucked, so, you know... He's gone. What is it? What did he say? Uh, energy, performance focus. There we go. Uh. 
because they usually get tired. I know the squad depth's awful, isn't it? No. <clears throat> Okay, that's good. And it's stuck. Okay. Um, I'm a Sunday, I'm in Sunday League. I had a wild game yesterday. Five red cards. Actually, the wildest game I've ever played in my life. It says life of a row. Recall some players. That is pretty mad. Five red cards. I don't think I ever saw that in my time. Uh, right, match rescheduled. We've got against Spurs. That's been rescheduled to the from the 3rd of November to the 2nd of November. Uh, Chiesa's at full thing. Low on energy, availability. Banwell Ballet Shields back after one game having just been suspended. Seven months, player suspended. Cool. Ja Jackson, mate, you're going to get a start. Don't worry, you've been playing very well. In fact, I'll tell him that. Um... Why are all of those so shit? I'll think about it. Outstanding, son. <laughs> uh, squad hub, we will see. Uh, is it financial? No, it's not financial, is it? Don't need Chalabar. Colwell's gone up to 76. Maria. Uga Chukwu. Oh, Chukamek. Oh, no. Uga Chukwu could be a good one to recall, you know. For centre mid. Modric, I don't know. Palmer's now 71, which is good. Breuer, we don't need Breuer back. Fafana. It's probably Leslie and Modric, but... <clears throat> Yeah, go on. We'll bring back Leslie. Angelo. Ninety-two grand. How I bet Mudrick's gonna be quite a bit, you know. Yeah, it's nearly a million quid. I know that's not a lot for us, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Uh, again, yeah, we've got. May not need Mudrick. Yeah, I'll leave Mudrick for now. I wanted, yeah, I wanted to. He's on a two year loan, for Christ's sake. I wanted to keep him on loan. Uh, Uga Chukwu, and we've got Angelo back, so he can stay uh, there. Chiesa's looking a little bit tired as well. This might be the last game. Maybe one more after this. It's Rangers in the next game, so we might have time for that. Let Roy do his magic. Well, exactly. Right. Here we go. Hey. Hot o'clock. It's Chelsea versus Arsenal. I don't like how they haven't put the... Um, the tunnel directly on the line, which it definitely is. Is it not in real life? Here we go. 
That is a pint of vodka. Aussie men. Can't find anyone in support, really. Tackled well. Made a right mess of the bridge's uh, grass there. That's a lovely bit of play if Aussie men can put it away! Saved by the keeper. Lovely bit of play that was. Favourite vodka? I don't really I don't really like vodka, honestly. Um, if I had to choose, probably Smirnoff. Madueke, he's had a game to rest. Can he put it away? He's at the par. Oh. A tankard of mead. Ever seen. And it's Super Chelsea. Super Chelsea FC. Tequila over vodka any day? Yeah, probably. I'm a rum man myself. At my core. I don't drink it anywhere near as much as I used to because it doesn't half give me a fucking headache, I must say. It's, it's, I think it's because of all the sugar in it, but I don't know. It's, it's just... It's not, like, in the, in the night, it's okay, but in the morning, fucking, the, the hangovers are pretty, pretty diabolical. Terrible pass, and they could be in here. It's a great tackle. Chiesa. Ossiman. Finds himself going back into a wall. What on earth was that? Sugar, yeah, if you have too much sugar on a night out, and obviously alcohol. <laughs> no, for me, it's the, the super, like, the sweeter the, um, the, the alcohol, the, the more likely you are to get a headache or a hangover. Uh, I'm a white rum man myself. I don't mind dark rum. I don't mind... Uh, Spiced rum's all right. Golden rum's all right. Uh, but for me, my everyday would be uh, Bacardi. It's just... It's, ba it's basic, isn't it? It's generic, but it is fucking good. Took way too long there to kebab on the way home. Can't be here, can you? My hangover cure... Just a shitload of water, really. It's Enzo. Just a just a fuckload of water and full fat coke. Full fat coke does the job. Or or or, or Lucas Aid. It's it's actually probably a Lucas Aid. Oh, he's at the bar. Jesus. No handball on in gameplay. I, I didn't even know you could turn it on anymore. I used to have it on, but it used to give penalties and free kicks for fucking every time it would hit the player's body. I've gone off kebabs a little bit. I mean, I like kebabs in the moment, but the kebabs, you wake up and it's just on your fucking mouth the whole day. Doesn't matter how much you brush your teeth absolutely sticks to you. It's like cheese and onion walkers. Great shot. Do you drink gin? Nah. No. I'm not allowed to drink gin. Oh. Gin gets me absolutely battered.
just make it just makes me like I'm not an aggressive drunk at all. Like no matter what, like I'm just not an aggressive. I'm a I'm a very sort of um, I just want to give everyone a hug all the time and tell them how much I love them and and yeah, you're my best mate. Oh, I don't know what to do, mate. Like I get super soppy when I'm drunk. Um. Uh, but the thing is with gin, I just pretty much black out. I know you probably expect me to say like, oh, that, that makes me really aggressive. It doesn't. It just makes me pass out. Like I, I'm just absolutely paralytic on gin for some reason. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> if you want to get me absolutely battered on a night out, give me gin. Ah, great save. Get it out. Brilliant. Madaweke. And it's away. It's Fernandez. He could be through here. I don't think he will be. Closed down with ease, really. Oh, he's put him under pressure. He's lucky he got away with that one. The fucking lucky bastard. Ever woken up in a dodgy area? Um, I've woken up at a bus stop in broad daylight. When I say broad daylight, it's like seven in the morning. I've woken up at a bus stop and my mate's just driven past who I wasn't out with that night. And uh, he's just gone, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm there like, oh shit. Bossy me! It's been a long time coming. And finally, Aussie Ben is inevitable. Worst thing you can remember doing on a night out that you can say on stream. What the fuck do you take me for that I couldn't say the worst thing I've ever done on a night out? <laughs> Um, oh, it's a lovely bit of play! It's Aussie Men for two! What a finish! Absolutely torn them apart there. Where did that come from? Um, the worst thing. Oh, we'll put Leslie on, on for Chiesa. Why not? Postage stamp. Uh, I mean, I've had nights where I've been absolutely fucking spewing all over the... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, Jesus. I remember one. I remember one very well. <laughs> as soon as I as soon as I mentioned spewing, any of my nights where it's just been a bad a bad one or like one to forget, are the ones where I've ended up throwing up. What the hell is that mine? Um, I think the word it it seems pretty tame, but we'll keep it tame, I suppose. Um, uh, uh, uh fucking. Uber ride home and I have I have thrown up out the window of the guy's Uber and I've thought right that it's just going to go and it's going to go onto the road but it did not at all <laughs> it did not at all uh, it went every bit of it went down the side of the car and we've got back home and the car is just absolutely covered in sick um, to the point where I'm so sobered up now because I've 
thrown up so much. Um, that when my brother comes out, oh, it's a lovely bit of play. It's a lovely bit of play! Oh, Seaman for three! Um, and so I've got out and my brother welcomes me back to the house. And uh, this is only a couple of years ago as well, maybe like four years ago. No, 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 actually, it's five years ago. It was the day before I went to America, so it would have been five years ago. Uh, maybe six years ago. It was, it was like April... It was April of uh, 2018. Um, and so I've gone in, and then I've gone upstairs, and then my brother's come to my bedroom, and he's gone, the, the Uber driver's at the fucking door, banging on the door. And I'm like, what? And uh, he's like, yeah, he's not happy. He's not happy at all. Uh, and I've gone there and he's just like, look at the state of my car, you little shit. Look what you've done to it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, what's happened? And I've gone round the side and it's absolutely caked. And so to make things worse, I've, I've, I've gone in and got just like a fucking rag, like a, like a kitchen towel. And because I'm drunk, I thought, well, I'll just get it wet. I've gone out with a wet kitchen towel and I'm just rubbing it. And all it's doing is making it worse. It's just smearing it into the side of his car. Um, and <laughs> just smearing it all over. And I go, oh, that's better, isn't it? And he's like, not really, but cool. Um, still got a five star rating. I think he gave me a five star before I could, before he knew it was there, honestly. Um, but you know, sorry about it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I think he just could tell I was so drunk that he was like, "Ah, oh, fine, just fuck off, go home. You're pissed." But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'd never done it again. Uh, and we live and learn, you know? We live and we learn. Uh, with that said, will we win the FA Cup? I don't think so, Mohammed, my friend. I really don't think so. Um, with that said, we are... Uh, we'll take one last look at where we are at the moment. We're into the Champions League uh, in uh, tomorrow's game. It was a long hangover. It really was. Um... This is a PSA brought to you by... Yeah, don't don't throw up at all. <laughs> don't throw up. You know, that's my... Uh, that's my, my tip for you. Um, in terms of the standings, after being Arsenal there, quite definitively as well, I might say. Uh, we're top of the league by five points. We're doing very well. Still unbeaten. I think we are still now the only team unbeaten this season. So we are on for an Invincibles run as it stands. Seven wins. Seven wins, zero draws and zero losses. I don't think I've ever had a start, streaming-wise, uh, to a Premier League season this well, you know? But we're doing great. 19 goals, seven uh, conceded for a 12-goal difference. Nothing crazy, but, you know... I mean, it is pretty bad, pretty crazy. 19 goals in seven games. Um, Rangers next in the Champions League. We, we've got a draw and that's about it. But uh, until then, until tomorrow, 6 p.m. UK time for another hour and a half. Remember tomorrow as England are playing, but an hour and a half, time to get on the gin. There we go. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sonic Clown and the rest of you, have a, a wonderful rest of your evening. I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye.